What's up everyone, in today's video you'll learn how to install KeePass on your Android smartphone so that you can access and manage all your passwords on the go. Enjoy! Okay, so before we start, if you haven't watched my last video on the desktop version of KeePass, you should definitely go ahead and check that out first, because organizing and creating your database is a lot easier on the PC. But if you already know your way around KeePass and you want to save some time, you should know that we have created a composite master key for our database, which adds another security layer to our database because it does not only consist of a password, but also a key file. And if you are missing one of these, you will not be able to access your database. Now, I have done the following. I've uploaded my entire KeePass folder, including my database, inside of my Dropbox so that I can access it from anywhere. And the key file that I need to open up my database is only stored locally, so in case someone gets inside of my Dropbox, they will not be able to access my database, even if they have my password. So if you want to access your database from your smartphone, you also have to transfer that file to your smartphone so that you can open up that composite master key. Now let's take a look at where I've put my key file. As you can see, I have it inside of my documents folder directly on my smartphone. And the next thing we gotta do is download an app so that we can access our database and also synchronize all the data so that in case we make any changes on our smartphone, it also gets changed on our PC. My personal app of choice is KeePass to Android. And let's quickly download that inside of the App Store. As you can see, I have already installed the app. So the next thing I'm gonna do is open it up. So the first thing you have to do is click on change database here, or it might even be that if you first open up KeePass to Android, that you're greeted with this screen right here and then you can click on open file and choose Dropbox. Then you'll have to allow the access to your Dropbox and open up the KeePass database. So now the next thing we're gonna do is locate our key file. Scroll down a little, click on change location and then choose system file picker and as you can see I've already navigated to my documents. You can click on the top left side here and then choose your smartphone and then choose the folder that you have transferred your key file data to and click on that. And now the only thing you gotta do is enter your password and click on unlock. And as you can see, it says source file and cache are synchronized. And now I am inside of my KeePass database. So if your smartphone has a fingerprint sensor, then you'll be able to open up your KeePass database using your finger. Let's just quickly set that up. Click on the three dots up here, then go on settings, then tap on database and on fingerprint unlock. And here you'll be able to choose enable full fingerprint unlock if you have a fingerprint sensor. And this just saves a lot of time when unlocking your database. Let me quickly show you how that works. As you can see, if I lock my database, I can just put my finger on here and it will automatically synchronize your database, use that key file and open up your database for you, which is such a great thing. Now that is the basic setup. As you can see, I have three folders inside of my database here and all the other folders, the entire structure is also built inside of this app. And if you want to, you can of course also add another folder or another entry. Just click on the plus icon down here. And as you can see, you can either choose a folder or a key and it will guide you through all the steps to add another entry. Okay, so now that we know how to set everything up, let's take a look at how to use it in action. If you, for example, open up an app like Instagram, click here, add another account, log into an existing account, and click on switch accounts, and click here, then you'll see it will ask you to fill with KeePass to Android. Now, if you tap on that, it will show you that it has not found any results for any Instagram account. And if you've set it up on a PC like I did, then this is normal behavior and you just have to click on select another entry down here, then go into the right folder, choose the Instagram account you want, and then it will ask you if you'd like to remember the search text for the next time. Because your else work a little bit differently on Android smartphones, this is why you have to first add another search text inside of your entry so that next time it will show up without any problems. Let's click on yes. And as you can see, it's saving the database and synchronizing it with our Dropbox. And now it has pasted all the information from KeePass. Now you can log in and as you can see, it works perfectly. By the way, if you're not using a native app and you want to log in on some other website on Google Chrome, for example, then you'll have to manually go inside of your KeePass to Android password manager, choose the right entry, and then just click here, copy to clipboard, and paste the data manually and it will work just like that. Let's just quickly add another entry and I'll show you test, test, put a random password in. Or you can also click on the plus icon here 
and generate a random password using different characters and choose a length for it, let's say 30, then generate the password and accept. You can also add an URL, some notes or tags right here then click on save. And as you can see, once again, it's saving the database and it's synchronizing everything with our Dropbox. And if you want to delete an entry, just click on it, click on the trash icon right here, delete it permanently. And once again, it will synchronize everything perfectly for you. If you still have any questions after watching this video, then definitely go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll make sure to take care of you. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for future videos and I'll see you in the next one.